Hi viewers, welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. How are you all doing? How was your Valentine's? Well, I think um, they felt my asked you guys yesterday. But yes, we'll still be asking you guys because on my end, you know, I said I gave the men a scum vibe. I don't know what you did, but I saw a lot of breakups. I saw a lot of makeup and I saw a lot of people getting happy. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, we just have to keep saying happy Valentine's. How are you doing today, man? And yes, you're tuned in to the baddest entertainment analysis show that does it better than no other while sipping tea. We serve you with the oddest news, celebrities, breakdowns, and everything pertaining to lifestyle. If it's hot, of course, I will be discussing it. And of course, I've got Quincy Jones with me on this table today. What's going on, man? I like my drum rolls. It's a boy squad team. Yes, sir. Yeah, what's going on? Like, where did, I they, am where, very... where did they disappear to? I should ask you. You are the class captain. <laughs> <laughs> I am the head boy. Wow. <laughs> yes, man. I see what I'm you did I'm just the class captain. I see what you Come did Come on, there. you're the head boy, man. I'm great, my bro. Are you I'm really great. the head boy? Dude? I'm great. No. Mm -hmm. No. The head boy. No, I, I see what you're trying to do. <laughs> um, you know, not really. Yeah. Anyways, how was your Valentine? What did you do? We didn't get to see you yesterday. Oh, no, no, the usual. Um, uh, went to work, went back home, ate food. Oh, I ate spaghetti that I cooked. Yeah. Oh, oh are by you expecting something some with no, a woman? Oh, no, no, there's, there's no woman. Did you there get was any no gifts? Woman. Did you get anything special from anybody? Oh, yes, I did. What did you get? Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, facts, though. Mm. I think I bought, like, I got, like, Three bottles of mm. whiskey. Mm. Yeah, gifts, just gifts. Not for Valentine's, just random day. It was mm. just coinciding, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, be like Quincy Jones and drink responsibly. All right, so um, we have to move on to the first story of the day, right? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, Nigerian singer Peter Okoye, also known as Mr. P, has taken to his Twitter account to speak against tribalism and racism in Nigeria. On Valentine's Day, the former P Square member noted that he's an Igbo man who is married to a Yoruba woman. The one more night crooner also revealed that he grew up and schooled in the north. In his words, I am an Igbo man married to a Yoruba woman. I grew up in the north, schooled in the north, started my career in the north, and today I speak Hausa language fluently. Please, this ethnicity, tribalism, and racism has to stop. Abba, what is going on? Stop the bloodshed. What do you say to this? It's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. Right. Yes. It's right up. Like yeah, he's right. He's right. And it's very plain. But you see, um, I felt. Uh, I kind of felt like the whole tribalism situation in Nigeria mm. must have subsided due to the level of enlightenment that mm. social media has brought to the country yeah. and to the youth at the moment. But you see, um, I kind of feel like there's some people or some set of people that understand that uh, they could use that to their advantage mm. politically mm. and would always and continually keep bringing that up. But mm. it's up to us to rise against that mentality. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, sure. Personally, I don't, I honestly don't care where you're from. Like, I literally, like, to the worst part of it, I don't care. What's your name? I know your name, and that's fine. Are you a mm -hmm. good guy? Yes. Sure. Are you a bad person? Okay. But what about when it comes, no, we, 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 it's all easy for, it's easy for all of us to say this, but there's certain aspects that you just, you know, you have reservations about certain tries, like when it comes honestly, to doing business. No, you, if you want to be real with yourself, you, I know no, you have some no, no, no. reservations. Honestly, I am, I am, funny story is, so if I'm you go to a marketplace, extreme, I am actually an extreme anti-tribalist. Mm. Do you understand what I mean? I, I really, it disgusts me. Let me put it in the plain terms. But you, the fact that you see somebody as he's from here, he's from here. No, 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 no. I want to only know that you're from here because, uh, okay, I know so much about mm. fish because I'm from mm. uh, a River Rhine mm. area. Or, you know what? Mm. That, that's all I want to know. No, no, because oh, I'm stingy. So that means I am from this clan or I'm, I'm this way, that means I'm this clan. No. But do you think the tribalism, you know, it all sprung, sprung out of, um, you know, upbringing, where your parents, you know, keep you confined to your own tribe. You can only go to a certain place for Christmas. You get, you can only go to your own hometown for Christmas. Imagine if we had stuff like, you know, when you go on road trips, you stop in the east, the west, the south, you know, you get to have a feel of different cultures. Then at the end of the day, you begin to know different people for who they are and understand their own culture. But our parents just kept us stuck to one place. So if, like you see that, if this person is not my person, I'm not from that person's side. But you see, what, you what, what you're saying makes a lot of sense. Right, and mm. to a certain degree, I I agree. Mm. <laughs> you see what I did here? Mm. Yeah, but all in all, 
There's no way you are an enlightened person and you are tribalist. Mm. Possible, it's not. It doesn't. But we have a lot of enlightened people that are racist. Bro, bro, <laughs> I tell you this for free. The billionaires, the biggest and the richest yeah, people the, of course. that you feel are trapped. No, they are not, bro. Mm -hmm. Do you mm -hmm. understand? They might use it as instruments to, you know, uh, for their own whatever. I'm not saying anybody. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you that they are not tribalists. Mm -hmm. You are a Yoruba man. He's an Hausa man. He's an Igbo man. All that is important mm -hmm. is the bread at the center no, of the I've table, lived, which is I've money. I've lived in different places in Nigeria. So I, don't, I think I have that exposure of getting to know all the tribes. You understand? But I just feel like there's still a unity that I think the new generation parents have a lot of work to do in terms of tribalism. Because do they really? We, because it's a continuous process. It is. It would keep... You're not, you're, not, you're not seeing the fact that I'm talking about how tribalism is weaponized. Of course. And it will always be weaponized. The people will always come against, oh, this person is not mine. They want to segregate their own from your own. Do you understand? We saw that in the Biafra war. We saw the evil people trying to break out. See, it would always be there. That is what I'm saying that, look, this is from history, right? Now, the new generation parents have a lot of work. I'm talking about me and you, where we're able... I'm not a parent yet, but it's okay. I'm listening to you. <laughs> yeah. I'm where you're able, you know, to actually... Okay, your child wants to go to the north and you're not, ah, no, that place is too hot. No, they kill people there. There's the, let That's them not go. being tribalist. But you see, that example is not being tribalist. But why is it not being be tribalist? Because... Um, For you to tell me I cannot go to an Igbo man's land because of ABC mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. not tribalism? No, it's not tribalism. How? How hell? What I else is tribalism? I did not say tribalism? don't go to an Igbo land. Uh, I said do not go to... Okay, so um, my child wakes up now and mm. says I'm going to... For adventure now, uh, Bornu is... I'm not saying that's what it is, but let's say Borneo is the hardest place at the moment. Boko Haram, incessant mm. killings and mm. everything. Mm. And then my child wakes up and says, I want to go to Borneo State. My brother, you are not going anywhere. Why? It's just common sense. It's logic. You're not going to go to a place that there's so much killings. You can that's decide to go of to Abuja. insecurity now. Before you can go to was Abuja. like that, some parents would still not let you go. Yes, now, I, I know. I say this because but I know see, it. It's a personal, it's a personal example. Mm. I don't have a problem with that. A lot of parents do. Yes, it's fine. But you see, you need to change with the changing times. And people are changing, either we like it or not. But as I said, unenlightenment is the reason why tribalism can be weaponized. Mm. Because you are super enlightened. You know mm. that when it comes to whatever it is, mm. it's bigger than where you're from. It's where we're at. Do you understand what I mean? I get what you're saying. Oh, are you I tribalist? Get, I, get, I get everything. Are you tribalist? I'm not tribalist. Look, you're if not... you know me, I've lived in the north. I've also lived in the, in, in, in the east. I, yes, I'm currently here. You get me? So I lived everywhere. So I have a feel. I've lived in Ghana. Do you understand? Do you so, and I, I lived in different places in Ghana as well. Mm. So I've met different tribes. So I'm not tribalist. I'm just saying that, look, it still boils down to the parents. The yes, parents. Exactly. It does to a large extent, but also I think it's more about experience. Narrative. I think it's experience, mm. right? And we're very quick to attach experiences to places people are from. Mm. And not really just say, that guy is just a bad person, mm. right? So you do something bad to me now, I say, oh, all your bad people are bad. He does something bad to me now. I say, oh, all Igbo people are bad. That's, that's just, it doesn't make any sense. Let's bring it back to the music scene. They say there's tribalism in the music scene. Like, um, um, Lagos State is a Yoruba musician state. Like, the people that are actually being fruitful. Have you heard that before, though? Have yes, heard I've heard before? it from unenlightened people. <laughs> well, you can't say from Mona, like I can remember yes, um, what's his name now? Iblis came out recently and said something about, you know, Igbo people and now they don't try to show support for each other. You understand? Like I think yeah, that's, that's different. That's that's, that's within that. the commune. Yeah, that's within their commune. I understand. Now I'm saying that a lot of people have, have also come out to say that, okay, what about Fino and all the people that don't try to help? It's not it's not about just being enlightened is not just about your tribe. I think it has something to do with who you are as well. Where you're are you from. ready to carry everyone along? Very good statement and very good question. Uh, yes, I think I agree in short. Not even, I agree 100%. Mm. It depends on the person, mm. right? But you see, with Which the music Which is why it scene, goes back to the parents. Does it really? I think it's about experience. 
It's about experience. Yes. So you think you can have all the experience in the world and you can have a different upbringing and you think your upbringing won't have a play, no, no, no. I, I'm not, a, a part to play in all the experiences you've gathered over the years. So I'm not saying experience like in the vague term. I'm saying mm. experience like literal experiences that people, um, uh, happenings, actions, mm. uh, reactions, mm. different situations mm. that different human beings find themselves mm. in. Shows sure, that what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I think happens. And mm -hmm. that's what I think really forms a, a notion of tribalism and whatnot and whatever, mm -hmm. right? The parents have a lot to do with it, yes. But is it really what it is? Because I remember I've once, I'm not saying, uh, I've once corrected a particular teacher from being tribalist or being mm -hmm. tribalistic, pardon mm -hmm. me. Do you understand? She made, he made a statement actually you know, that was tribalistic. Mm -hmm. And I told him that was tribalistic and he was, he was trying to defend himself. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. I'm just very anti-tribalism. Even the greatly. things people say about different tribes, you know, that everybody has to say, well, you say, ah, he's your back. Yeah, Naibu hey, man, you find money yeah, pass. You understand? That's so easy I think, lie, I think the narrative, bro. I think the in narrative man, bro, to change. Naibu man, find money pass, but na dangote. Na inge money pass. Na inge money pass. <laughs> so, do you understand what I mean? It's just simple yeah, logic. Do you get what I'm saying? Eh, na, na, na this person cook pass. Na this person get deli. No. So it's do you think we should stop making the comparisons to even Yes, we it? should. It's not, I don't think. We need to. Mm. It's really important that we do that as soon as possible. And for the music What part, would you do differently as a parent? What when do you do from a parent? parent? Yeah. I'll just to, be myself. My great, awesome self that mm. is anti-tribalistic. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Good is good, bad is bad. It's not about where anybody's from. Full but stop. would you let them experience different cultures? I'm open to that. I love experiencing different cultures. Um, at first, um, w when it was time for me to serve, I got my call-up letter and it was Kogi State. Mm. And I'm like, ah, I'm a down. <laughs> <laughs> Nine billion years away from Lagos. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but let's do this. And I got there and I absolutely love it. Mm. It's what I fell in love with the tribe. All right, so let's, let's, let's play a quick game, right? What's your favorite fruit from another tribe? Ah. Uh, so I'm so anti-tribalistic that I do not know which food is from where. <laughs> <laughs> I don't tell the child. No, you must know now. There must be one particular one that you know. Can we add Italy, uh, Italian as what's it, what, 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 what's the meaning of all this? Pasta is my favorite food. Which one is pasta? Spaghetti I'm saying from like another... Food. I'm not asking you for your favorite food. But, I'm saying let's play the non-tribalistic game but, and let these people know that we love them and we love their food. And what tribe do you love the food? It's not it. I don't... The food I like, mm. spaghetti. Second option, uh, maybe pan de diem, <laughs> yes. And then for you. Uh, then okay. starch and banga. I, I think he felt right, like, actually right. Yes. His name is Quincy Jones so, and he's officially much. white. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was good. Well, I like for, that. I like me, that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Ekpan Kuko. I, I don't know if I mother the name, but I is love that, is that what it. it is? Yeah, Ekpan Kuko. It's from, um, it's a Calabar, you know, Cross River, Calabar. Yes, I'm getting it. Mm. I'm, I'm close, right? Yes, I know I'm close. Ekpan Kuko. Yes. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Wait, before we move on, please. White Quincy, yes. Before we move on, uh, I always wanted to ask you, and I keep forgetting. Yeah. Mm. Ghana Jollof, Nigerian Jollof. Ghana Jollof. Be very honest and do not lie. Nigerians will hate me after this show. Why do you have to put me on the spot? What? I love Ghana Jollof in my whole entire being. This is not being tribalistic. This is C. But I, I think Ghana slam, jollof tastes like something I do not know. I will slam a Nigerian jollof off my table if uh -huh. you just tell me there's Ghana jollof in the building. So like, um, today's Tuesday, right? Yeah. From to, between tomorrow and mm. Sunday, I'm going to take you to at least five to six different places. Mm where they cook proper Nigerian jollof. Mm. And if I can, I will probably beg my auntie my guy, to I cook like you Nigerian jollof. I did chop Ghana, I did chop Nigerian jollof. You never chop like, Nigerian If for you, you to you pick know, you know, Ghanaian you know, jollof. Do you know how they make like, Ghanaian you know jollof? Do you jollof. like beef though? If What's you that? like beef, do you like beef? Yes. Nice. No, I used to. Yo, okay, I love beef a lot. Okay. You understand? They chop a lot of beef in Ghana jollof. 
My brother, you went yeah. to five-star restaurant to eat. You say oh, that's general Ghanaian e jollof. Excuse me. My brother, I've eaten Ghanaian jollof and there was no beef inside aside from the one I bought hey, that was 100 me. naira on top. Do I, do I look broke? <laughs> of course, if I'm going to eat Ghanaian jollof. What, what's that? What's that? I said, do I, do I look broke? I'm going to eat, it, of course, five-star. Wait, should I, should I take you to a five-star restaurant? Then you can eat. They don't even cook it the way it's supposed to My be. My guy, I'm telling you, okay. That's not, Abe I'm, Pot. No, no, on the What are we though? talking about? Come on. Abe Pot. Uh, Abe uh, Pot, Ghanaian jollof, you need the crispy part. No, that's not, I don't agree. Are you joking? I don't agree. Are you joking? Do you really want me to tell you my view on Ghana Jollof? And then there's that other thing. Maybe called you shito. had the bad one. Other, shito, that, you don't like yeah, Shito. Yeah, yeah, that. What about you know, you know that you know that stupid. You know that we've, we've left Nigeria. You know that stupid. You, you, you know that stupid way that they put on top Ewa <laughs> going. Uh, right? You know that stupid. Yes, that black. Yes. You yeah. imagine it does not now have taste and now has plenty pepper. That's exactly what that thing tasted like My to guy, me. I'm you? not even joking. What part of Ghana did you go to? I did not go to Ghana. I ate everything here Yes, in now you cannot have the right one. Uh, yes, yes, guy. I live in, in Ghana. Can you hear? Can you hear? Can you hear? At least me. See, can I be an authority on this one? <laughs> because, yes. I no, no, no. You're, you're more enlightened about the situation yeah. being ah, the fact ah, that you lived ah, in Ghana. Ah, 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 ah. But Come I'm just on. saying, but you see, the people that cooked all these things that I tried in different places are all Ghanaian. As well, you know, they are, they are Ghanaians, yeah. they don't have the right ingredient. The breeze, where they blow, they don't have the right ingredient. Yeah. The, breeze, oh, the, breeze, the breeze, they the follow Ghana the water. Ghana, 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 where do you they talk, guy? <laughs> let's let's just move on. Don't don't shame, okay. don't don't, okay. don't shame. Anyways, um, unity in unity, we stand. We think, um, no tribalism, we're Definitely. totally in support 100%. of um, what um, Peter Okoye said, you know, regardless of where you're from, love the next man like he's your very own. Yep. And moving on, a judge has ruled that Pharrell Williams didn't commit perjury in his copyright infringement legal battle over his Robin Tate collaboration, Bloodlines. The two artists were sued by Marvin Gaye's heirs in 2015, claiming they copied the late singer's 1977 track, Got to Give It Up, for Bloodlines. Williams and Tick denied the accusations, but they lost the case. And the Motown Legends Estates officials were initially awarded a massive $7.4 million, which is equivalent to 5.6 million pounds reward before it was later reduced to 5.3. I don't know what reduction that is. Well, 4 million. Williams opened up about the high profile fight in an interview with GQ magazine published in 2019, in which he told um, Revit pro producer. Rick Robin, that when he finds a song he likes, he reverse engineers the feeling he gets from listening to that tune. I did that in Bloodlines and got myself in trouble, he admitted. And yes, you know how people are now. They said, ah, perjury, this guy lied on the oath. He gave a false statement saying he didn't copy Bloodlines and all of that. And yes, you know, they try to increase the money again. I said, this is Marvin Gaye estate, and they will really need the money, don't they? <laughs> uh, is, is is that really what it is about? I think. Then what about, is it? I think it's, it's more about so the, um, unlike Nigeria, the music business over there mm, in the, the United structure. States, the structure is totally yeah, different. Yeah, true. Yeah, the way everyone just lifts everyone's music mm. and makes a banger out of mm. it, and there's no recognition, mm. no financial sure, payment. Sure. Jonathan, it's, it's it's wrong. But you see, in this situation, it's really funny because one, <laughs> for real. Pharrell actually said mm. that he did, you know, take something from Marvin Gaye to make bloodlines. Uh, reverse he did say that. Isn't he that said he reverse word? engineered yeah. it. Yeah. <clears throat> Baba, it's from which song? He still did, right? It's not, I don't have a problem with it, right? But you see, um, how the case ended is what I love. Right? They uh, get to pay for, you know, what the damages the as payment, lawyers yeah. and everything, and then they also let go of their um, royalties from mm -hmm. bloodlines mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. uh, to a certain period in time, which I think is very it's fair fine. and very mm -hmm. fine, right? But I don't think the situation should have gone to this point. I think Pharrell should have tried to douse the situation a lot earlier. He wouldn't have lost a lot mm -hmm. because definitely one of his biggest songs ever. Mm -hmm. Not his biggest, but mm -hmm. one of his biggest one songs of, ever yeah. alongside Robin Thicke, yeah? Mm -hmm. But um, all in all, yeah. Not thief. <laughs> hey, what? <laughs> you can sample and get approval. You usually should mm. get approval. For but what you, you know, you know, you know what I feel. Eh? There are some times that you just feel like this idea is all mine. But you've seen it somewhere. You've heard it somewhere. I think this happens. No to idea is original. That's what they creators. say. Yeah, no idea. There's nothing new under the sun. So you just it's listen. It's not about to how it. you do it, but how it's done. Ah. Okay. ah. Let's start rapping on this oh, yeah? show. Oh, yeah? Let's even just start rapping. Anyway, since you want to do this, my brother, I'm not a rapper. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie. I get it. Please. I get it. Please. 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 Please
<laughs> anyway, so um, <laughs> guy, who are you? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just remember the song. The line just kept on going in my head from that song, and that's where the, the song actually ended. Are you still rapping right now? No, I no, I didn't. Are you, are you testing? Did, we, should, we should do a freestyle. Back I know, say you did rap before. Hey, so or GH, GH before, 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 I get money before, no before party. <laughs> my guy. No, no, no. I'm not. Miss, I'm not anyway, that. Yes, all right. Yes. So um, I think um, you know, this whole copyright thing is something that should be looked into, especially yeah. in Nigeria as well. I can remember the Tiwa Savage and uh, what's his name now? Uh, I forget uh, his name as well. Um, uh, this young guy, Dami, ah, no, something. What's his name? This young wow. guy. Wow. Danny, Danny Dan Young. Young. Yes. That's Danny it. Young. Yeah, I remember the case, and then it was just a Yoruba proverb, and, you know, he went at Bro, you see, that, you see, that situation was absolutely bogus. Mm. Uh, it didn't make any sense whatsoever. It didn't. It didn't. Reason is, that phrase is one of the, the most, most popular. used... Nigerian what, what is it phrases in, I, I've forgotten it? the phrase, uh, in Nigerian music, right? So yeah. he, are you serious? It's like you claiming a particular proverb as your own. So anyone who else, anyone else who uses it, there's a problem. Do you understand what I mean? That uh, Danny Young situation. Mm. I saw it, the first time I saw it, I laughed. And then I really saw that he was actually trying to pursue mm -hmm. the case. And I'm like, is this guy really serious? Mm -hmm. That was really funny, by the way. But I'm saying some people are beginning to, you know, overdo it, such as in that instance. Do you understand? But I mm. think that that is a part of our music business that we really need to structure. Yeah. Copyright. You just don't run off people's songs. Definitely. You know, you just don't do that. You know, it doesn't work if like that. If you're going to, especially creative. just get, just get, get approval. It's yeah. not that deep. It's not. Just get approval. Oh, so I'm, I'm going to be taking... In short, it even does you more good from the music business perspective mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when you actually... Mm -hmm. When you do your whole reverse engineering, try and feature that person who's person still alive. Try and feature the person. No, but sometimes, right, you get a feeling from a song and you're like, oh, I want to make something hot bit like this. And then you just go up, go out there, you go and put it together and it's beginning to sound like somebody else's because you wanted to get a certain feeling. So you can't blame a crazy. It might sound alike, which is what happened to, which is why I like what the judge did when he said, look, it was properly... Um, it was an ambiguous word, like you can derive several meanings from yeah. reverse engineering. So it is build, it is creating a feeling. It's not actually creating a sound. Do you understand? Okay, so in mean? the process of creating a feeling and the sound begins to sound alike, then it's, it does the sound man. <laughs> Anyways, we have to move on. We have to move on. Well, big shout out to Farrah Williams, you know. Um, Robert Maraj, um, the 64-year-old father of Nicki Minaj, died Saturday after being struck in a hit-and-run incident in Mineola, the New York Friday night on uh, New York on Friday night. TMZ first reported the news, which has been confirmed by the Nassau County Police Department. Maraj, who lived in Mineola, was struck while working around 6 p.m. Um, East African time and taken to the hospital where he later passed away. The driver of the vehicle reportedly fled the scene without a meaningful description from witnesses. Minaju was born Onika Tanya Maraj, has yet to publicly address the death of our father. The singer has previously described Maraj as violence towards a mother, telling Rolling Stone in 2010, but none of that is important. A man is dead, and um, yes, our heart goes out to the um, Minaj family. I like how you ended it. Yeah. Yeah, none of that is important. Yeah. Honestly, the <laughs> man is actually yeah, dead from the man is dead. Yeah, it run. Hit and run. If it was Nigeria, they would say the village people. They not allow him hit. The, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> hits the fruit of labor. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm messing with you. But um, the situation is <laughs> but the situation. he didn't chop on to a certain degree, to a certain degree yeah. yeah. But you know, Menager keep making money though, mm -hmm. you know? yeah. But um, on a very serious note, it really is messed up. I saw it, I felt really bad, and then I do not even want to put myself in the shoes of uh, Nicki Minaj at the moment. Do you understand what I mean? Um, no matter the situation, no matter the con um, no matter how. However, anyone decides to look mm -hmm. or perceive another person, once the term death or death literally hits, it's, mm -hmm. diff it's different. Mm -hmm. Your mind automatically just cancels out, cancels mm -hmm. out the negatives, mm -hmm. and you're left with you're left with just the positives. Yeah. Do you understand yeah. what I mean? Yeah, it's left to the media to be picking out. Uh, yeah, whatever it yeah, was, say it was, he doing, was this, yeah, he was that. that. Yeah, yeah, the same way they said the. Uh, uh, I can't breathe, guy. Says mm -hmm. he, he was mm -hmm. a crack addict and stuff. He was like a that. porn star. He was plenty yeah. things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but a man is dead, and I would 
say rest in peace and you know god grants them fortitude to you know yeah get move on this situation yes and um, my heart really goes out to them i it just reminded me of a, a, a video i saw over the weekend where n6 the on air personality said um he was at the zebra crossing. Yes. He stopped for a guy to cross, and the car next to him hit the guy. Yes. And people were parrying for him. That why did you stop? Like he said something. It was funny because I laughed a lot. But I it's laughed the truth. as well. But when it's he the truth. said, uh, "It showed that a lot of people that see the zebra crossing, they probably think is is an advert for one of these um, yes. shooting <laughs> relief, <laughs> you know, candies and stuff." You get me? So Nigeria is messed up. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not even going to hide my mouth to yeah. say that, right? on several occasions mm. that particular spot so especially when you're on like a freeway or a busy road i'll tell you the worst gone yeah so when you're on a busy road there's usually the zebra the zebra crossing mm -hmm. right and before that is where you have like a stop sign mm -hmm. right not even where the traffic light is there's the stop sign and then there's the zebra crossing and mm -hmm. then there's the, whatever demarcation for the freeway mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. People would pass, <clears throat> go past the stop sign that has a stop mark that's really huge and has a line above it and then they will go stay on the zebra crossing everywhere, especially this uh, Lekia Lek 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 Express. Let me, let me tell you the worst. When you even stop at the zebra crossing, that's the person you are stopping parking for. Space. Wait, the person you are stopping for, that's it. Okay, I go now. <laughs> no, I don't want the pain. <laughs> like, okay, go make a cross. I'm not even joking. You know? I've experienced this. I mean, I'm not even messing I'm with not. you. I do. I get it all I the time. I slowed down. I once slowed down for a woman, and when I, she was trying to cross, mm -hmm. I saw that the car in front of me did not allow. So I, I slowed down, and then I stopped. Mm -hmm. And then she was like. <laughs> like, nah, me so like what me. just happened just now? <laughs> So I think I think we need to learn a lot about our road signs, you know, not yeah, all of the signs. Definitely. Because, yes, a lot of hit and runs happen every day. I think it happens so much that we have even stopped reporting some in the in the news. You get it's now like there are certain areas where in a day they have to record um, somebody being hit by a car because yeah. you know people don't want to use the pedestrian bridge. And I'm not saying that is what happened in America, you know, but I'm talking about here in Nigeria. People still don't follow this. People want to cross the express. You see the it government. You see the government put that net. You know that demarcation to separate you. So they you don't bend it. They will bro. bend it. They will break. They will, some people will carry plier to move around in the streets mm -hmm. of Lagos. You know, <laughs> so they can cut nets. You know, so let's let's do better and let's save ourselves. You know, the whole trauma of losing a loved one by following. You know, road also time. please when you see there is a pedestrian bridge. Please. Do not pass the pedestrian bridge like it's there to greet you. Use the pedestrian bridge Climb. to go to the other side. Stay elevated. Do you understand what I mean? Wow. <laughs> Use the pedestrian bridge. The pedestrian bridge is not there to say you are welcome to Lagos. No, no, no. It's to be used. Right? A lot of people go past the pedestrian bridge and then want to start dragging road with moto. Yeah. Kotoluwa means stay elevated and when you are coming down, you can I, I don't know what this is, but you are very terrible. <laughs> <laughs>